Yes, Tessa, full self-driving is continuing to fail this critical school bus safety test that the Dawn Project has been conducting. This time a live demo in Austin where robo-taxis are due to be released from Tesla in a matter of days, supposedly. So they wanted to do this live demo with journalists there, people observing. Because last time I did a video about this, people in the comments, quite a few people said, what version are they using? It's better now. It's going to be better with the RoboTaxi launch. And they've rigged it. But this is a live test with lots of people observing. Let me explain, and then I'll show more video. They did this test repeatedly. It did fail every time. The Dawn Project and Tesla Takedown conduct live demonstration of Tesla FSDs critical safety defects in Austin. So people will be saying, noticing the Tesla takedown movement, that's a Tesla boycott. So they've joined forces here. Yes, that means that they do want it to fail, but it doesn't mean that the test is rigged. Public Safety Advocacy Group, the Dawn Project collaborated with Tesla Takedown to demonstrate the critical safety defects of Tesla's full self-driving software in a live demonstration in Austin yesterday. That was the 12th of June. So the question has to be asked, is Tesla even doing this critical test and should they reveal the results? Because this organization has done this test over and over for a long time and it continues to fail. So for Tesla to prove it, why don't they do the same test in public to prove that the Dawn project is wrong here? The Dawn Project, in partnership with Tessa Takedown and Resist Austin, demonstrated that the latest version of the Tessa full self-driving version 13.2.9, so that answers the question there, anybody asking, is this the latest version? Yes, it will still run down a child crossing the road while illegally blowing past a stop school bus with its red lights flashing and stop sign extended. As you can see, a critical safety test. The test was run eight times and full self-driving ran down the child mannequin while illegally blowing past the school bus on every single test. So it's not like it's intermittent. It works sometimes and not others. Maybe that, that would be a big issue too because you never know when it's going to work and when it's not going to work. But every single time, Tessa's full self-driving software did not disengage or even alert the driver to the fact there had been a collision on any of the test runs. Well, I think you'd know if you're in the car if there was a collision like this. But the fact is that it kept going on a number of occasions. You'll see in the video, just kept going and ran over the child again on the way out. So this was held near Mueller Park in Austin with dozens of attendees and journalists who witnessed the safety tests. The organizations chose to conduct the demonstration on the 12th of June, as that was the day in which Bloomberg reported would mark the beginning of Tesla's robo-taxi service in Austin. Tesla has failed to meet this reported deadline, and this week Elon Musk tentatively set a new public launch date of 22nd of June. Tesla is also headquartered in Austin. I wonder if one of the reasons apart from them not being ready is what has been happening in Los Angeles with the Waymos. You know, if that happened in Austin, that would not be good PR for Tesla. So here's a video, a more extensive video that they talk through when, when the camera's inside the car, but you can see that they did do this test a number of times. They said eight times and it failed every single time. So let us see. This is the first one that we showed at the beginning of the video. They've done more tests. Here we go. They can see here the stop yeah. signs are out. They've even put flashing lights on the stop signs oh to make goodness. it really obvious for it's us. It's not slowing down at all. And it's not slowing down at all. It's visualizing it as a truck. And here we have no. a kid darting out. And we're at the again. And the car, look, it's still engaged. I haven't touched oh. anything. Oh. See that? It stopped and then started up again. It went like a hit and run. Bomb. Every single time, every single time. The red light's flashing. And they're not faking this. As I said, they had witnesses, including journalists who were watching this to show that they're not rigging it, that this is every single time the same thing's happening with the latest version of the software. Because you have children who dart out from behind parked cars. Oh. And, oh, oh. and that's going over the wheels. And the back wheel. 
Yeah, there we oh. go. And the, the self-driving software has not disengaged, it has not beeped, it has not done anything. The car is just carrying on doing a hit and run. It's amazing. It didn't alert, didn't no alerts whatsoever. So it's like it didn't even see the child uh, even after it hit it, and then it carried on. There'll be children darting out from behind cars and in front of the vehicle. And there it goes again. I'm mean, just thinking about this. Tesla's got to do this test publicly to show that it works, that they've got a version of the software that it does work, that it's different to here. And the software is still engaged. I'll just run them over again with the back wheel. Oh, it's and stop it off. the car. Okay, it goes on. I'm not going to show any more of that. You can see the the raw video from their website, but it, trust me, it happens every single time. It didn't get it right once. So dangerous, I think. Now, if you're getting value out of this episode so far, I'd really appreciate it. If you remember to hit that like button to help the algorithm to spread it to more people. It really does help. Thanks. So they say both the Dawn Project and Tesla Takedown are calling for a boycott of Tesla. For the past two years, the Dawn Project has urged the public not to buy new Tesla vehicles and to sell their Tesla shares until the automaker fixes the safety critical defects in full self-driving, in quotes, and Tesla conclusively demonstrates that it is safe for use on public roads. Tesla Takedown has organized nationwide protests against Elon Musk and Tesla in recent months, which I've covered here on the pod extensively, those protests and the boycott and Tesla takedown. And the Dawn Project here has been testing. They've done a lot to try and alert the public and alert Tesla to get Tesla to fix this. If Tesla thinks it is fixed, maybe they need to do this demonstration to prove that's the case to get a different result. What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments. Does Tesla need to carry out these tests in public like this and prove that it can work, that it does work if they're going to release it? Other people in the comments have said, well, it is FSD supervised at the moment. So the job of the driver is to monitor. Well, that's technically true. But as I said, they're looking to launch robo-taxis in a geofenced area in Austin. Would it ever come across a school bus like this in this particular situation? The Dawn Project first warned Tesla that full self-driving would illegally overtake stop school buses in November 2022. So they've been talking about this for years via a full page ad campaign in the New York Times. So they've been very public about this, very critical of Tesla. The leader of the project, Dan O'Dowd, is on X every day talking about this, pointing out the defects in the software that people are finding all the time. Tesla took no action to address the issue. The Dawn Project subsequently broadcasts a Super Bowl commercial in February 2023 showing video footage of Tesla full self-driving blowing past stop school buses. And as you can see from this video, that's still happening. Tesla still did nothing, they say. Elon Musk's reaction was to crow on Twitter or X that the shocking footage would greatly increase public awareness that a Tesla can drive itself. Well, I don't know about that. It can drive itself until something like this happens, it seems. In March 2023, just one month after the Dawn Project Super Bowl PSA, a self-driving Tesla illegally blew past a stop school bus in North Carolina and struck a child who was hospitalized with a fractured neck and broken leg. It's something I detailed in the video before this one about the same subject a couple of weeks ago, I think it was. Commenting on the collaboration with Tesla Takedown, founder of the Dawn Project, Dan O'Dowd, said self-driving software that illegally blows past stop school buses and runs down children crossing the road must be banned immediately. Tesla's failure to address the critical safety defect demonstrate Elon Musk's utter negligence and contempt for public safety. If Tesla's engineers cannot fix this egregiously dangerous safety defect, they should be fired. If they can fix it, but they are choosing not to, they should be prosecuted. Is Tesla doing these kinds of tests, this exact test, they've been alerted to the problem. Are they doing this test to fix the problem or are they doing nothing about it?
Now that was from the Dawn Project. A spokesperson for the Tessa Takedown commented, the government is failing to protect children from Tesla full self-driving by allowing Tesla to test defective software on public roads. It is time for the public to step up and keep children safe from Tesla full self-driving. The only way to stop Elon Musk's reckless self-driving experiments is to boycott Tesla. So I ask again, is Tesla going to do these tests to prove to the public that they have fixed this problem and that maybe somehow this test is rigged, which I very much doubt. So let me know in the comments what you think about this. Do you think that they're not ready to launch robo taxis or is it just an amazing jump in software that they're ready to release and all this stuff will be fixed? What do you think in the comments? Let me know. And right now I'm going to put a link to a related video right there. And also on screen, subscribe link. Do subscribe if you're not yet and you want to get more of these from me in the future. I'm doing these five days a week. And thanks for watching this one and I'll see you in the next one.